Hello guys and welcome back to Delta Rune. In the last episode, we beat Jevil and we got to the Card Castle after first being betrayed. So in this episode, we're going to try to finish out the game. Now what we're going to do is head down this way, reset him, wait, when he passes by, run on through, or just get into a fight anyways. Fantastic. Alright, we're just going to convince him. We spent my fighting is bad, but Rune just became tired. And now we gotta dodge their sword attack. Fantastic. Thankfully, it's great at building TP, but it kinda hurts. Uh, we're gonna convince while well, you block and you pacify. Yeah, but Rude and Ranger just became tired, but we do get rid of one of them. Enough, you can't convince me. We don't have to convince you. All we have to do is pacify you. Thank you. Swords feel good. Alright, we're gonna defend. Defend, and you pacify. Yay, we got 111 useless dark dollars. Now you can go left for a little bit of dialogue, but it's not worth the time. Alright, we cannot go up, but we can go to the right. We can go east, into a trap. Uh-oh, we're in trouble now. So the worms have decided to crawl out and play. Uh. Who's there? Yeah, thoust fools! Is it you, Luna? No, it's not. Remember that RK guy? Well, I don't know. I am a guy with a hard to pronounce name. Thou our greatest adversary. Thou may have clonished past all thou otherest conundrums, but those were created by utter weaklings. Now prepare thyself for the strongest puzzle of thou's life. And with that. Toil worms. Uh oh. This is the toughest puzzle ever, guys. I think we have to do this. God damn it. Wow, that was some colorful language, wasn't it? And there's the puzzle solved. That was extremely difficult, mind you. We can head north and up the stairs. Alright, we're gonna pretty much have no choice but to fight, from what I know. So, battle time with. Head happy. So what we're gonna do is, oh, well, sadly that won't work out too well. Watch. I ordered Susie to flirt with the enemy, and hell no. Ah, oh, Susie, it's okay if you don't know how. What? Shut up. That's not the problem. Are you sure? All right, look, wise guy. I'll show you. Watch this. Ahem. So, uh, come here often? Head hath he felt awkward and left. Hey, get back here and let me flirt with you! Fantastic. So yeah, that's one way to do it, and it only works on one enemy. Alright, you remember the old heart Hathi's attacks? The same thing, but it just closes on closes in on you. So what we're gonna do is have my character flirt instead. You'll defend and you'll heal prayer to Chris before he dies. It was highly effective. Raw say cast heal prayer. Yeah, there's no real point in using the X flirt. It just wastes time. Just do convince. I mean, just use uh, my character's, well, Chris's flirt. You will spare him, and you will defend. So we can get our TP up. Alright, one more to go. Right, you remember this attack. Same thing as before. Alright, spare, defend, defend. And with that, we win. Alright, let's head up the stairs. We're almost to the top. Now watch out for the dudes. We can't go down. That's our ultimate destination. But it's blocked off, so we have to go to the right. Can you guess what's gonna happen? Nah, it's not obvious at all. Gah! <laughs> Thoust guys really think that was all I hadest? Wrong. It's time for you to feel my real power. Behold, my ultimate puzzle. Uh-oh. Have at you. I don't know, guys, if we can do this or not. Dog is barking its face off while you're losing your mind. Ah, ha ha ha, gullible worms. That wasn't really, that wasn't just really my ultimate puzzle. I have waste better one right here. Can can we see it? 
No. Well, that's a waste of time. Whatever. Nonetheless, the pathway is open. So, we can go left if you want to a room full of people we've met, or you can just go upstairs. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. Why wouldn't you show it off? Play the game yourself and enjoy it, that's why. Welcome to my shop, you ungrateful worms. Now here we can get some food. A weapon for her, which is garbage. A new weapon for him, which is great for healing, and amber cards if you need any. See thou in the dungeon, worms. He be c he'll come around. As there's the elevator if you want to take it back down. Otherwise, head up. Uh-oh. Enough worms. Looks like we're gonna have to fight them. Thou may have cheated through mine puzzles, but in combat thou shalt be scattered about. Come, knaves, prepare for the battle with... Yeah, whatever this is, it's called recycled content. Huh? It's the enemy from earlier, but its crown looks different. It looks the same. Yes, with my control crown. I may have to control any disc-shaped life forms. Oh no! It looks like it's in pain. It looks the same! Yes, the control crown is painful, but I am certain this creature will feel its relief when it sees how much more pain thou will be in. With that, we get thrust into a boss battle, but it's a little different. This time, Susie has an idea. Susie, you want to act? Aww, what's your idea? Um, well, how do I say this? I kind of need you for this one. That's fine, Susie, I'll help. You want to apologize to it for earlier, right? Nah, I just need you to stay still. With that, we get to play a throwing mini game. Chris, we gotta get that crown off its head. Help me throw where I'll say at it. So, press C to determine the angle, make sure it's high, and C to determine the power. And if you hit the crown, the crown greatly loosens. Now watch out for them legs. They'll try to stomp ya. The crown is 35% loose, so let's keep at it. Make sure it's high. Enough power, and bam! The cr cr crown loosens even more while he tries to kick us with Twilight Sparkles. Anyways, the crown is now 70% loose. One more ought to do it. And that's it. With that, he rolls on out. We won. We got nothing at all. Why, brilliant, just brilliant! I knew you couldst do it, thou great heroes, thou. Thou seest, that was merely a friendly test of thine abilities. But thou hast won, and now nothing blocks thine path. I personally could not be less of an obstruction. But you, luck be with you, heroes. Whatever. Head up the stairs to head to the final room of the game, the last save point at least. So be sure to save your game and head on up north and let's finish this. Hey, it's Lancer! Hey, there's Lancer! Yeah, I just said that, Susie. Father! Lancer, my son. Have you dispatched the Lightners as I commanded? N no, but, but... I did even better. It turns out we don't actually have to fight them. They said they could just talk to you and... They're alive? Yes, and I think you'll like them a lot. They're Susie, she's very purple and strong, and... Where are they now? Um... Right here, buddy. Hey. It's nice to meet you. Lancer, Lancer, my son. I yes father Do you remember what I told you? D don't get too attached? You have failed. They have poisoned you with their sentimentality. Free yourself, Lancer. They care not for you. Their only goal is to destroy our glorious fountain. They are scum. No, no they're not. Uh-oh. What did you say? Let him go. Ha ha ha. 
You want me to let him go? Then how about this? I'll drop him off the edge and let him splatter. Unless you all kneel and learn your place. What will it be, Lightners? D don't listen to him, Susie. He'll... he'll... That we have no choice but to bow. Now watch, Lancer. See what happens when you befriend Lightners. Is this the end? No, Lancer saves our skin. What the? You, you traitor. Come back here. All right, enough already. Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> to my people, I am a hero. To you? I'm the bad guy. And with that, we get thrust into the final boss battle with King. Now, there's no point in acting because you cannot talk him down, but if you do talk to him with Susie and Ralsei, something will happen. So let's show that off. You attack. Susie tried to reason with the King. All right, listen up. Lance is my friend. So if we can get by without hurting you, then... If I perish, so be it. Show my son the monster you really are. All right, you want to see what I can do, huh? Susie's will is changing. Talk became Red Buster, which is a much stronger version of Rude Buster. All right, watch out. He starts off not seeming like a huge threat, but he throws in some difficult attacks afterwards. Though, to me, if you've beaten Jevil, this guy's attacks are going to be nothing to you. So for now, let's attack. Now you can't technically pacifist this battle. You left us in the shadows, stripped of meaning. You can technically pacifist this battle if you just defend and wait. He'll eventually get tired, or you can fight, it really doesn't matter. But we're gonna fight to keep things interesting. So, eat it. You dare return to torment us once again? Yeah, there's like a little bit of a story going on as we fight. I like that dialogue stuff. I dodged the grappling hooks. And let's go back to assaulting him. Do we have enough? Yeah, we do. Eat Rude Buster, baby. Does it hurt? It certainly does because he has the devil's knife. Be gone. We have found fresh purpose. Alright, move along with the box. You'll get stabbed. Yeah, a really easy attack to deal with. We shouldn't really get hit in this fight, honestly. I was late on the button press, but still, for the night has appeared. Alright, here we go again. Let's play Ring Around the Spades. And yeah, not a hard attack to deal with at all. Like I said, if you've beaten Jevil, this guy's nothing. Susie used Root Buster. Nice. Alrighty, we're doing excellent. The knight that pulls the fountains from the earth. Alright, watch out. This one's going to have spikes appear, and it's going to go to predetermined points, and you have to follow it. Try not to get spiked. Because it'll hurt, trust me. This guy does do damage. Even if he is a joke compared to what we fought before. Yeah, that was horrible on my part. Holy fountains whose shadows are creating a new world. Our world. But don't you know the story, buddy? If there's an imbalance, bad things will happen. Alright, we're doing good so far. You rude buster. And Ralsei attack. Now, depending on what your actions have been throughout the game, ha ha ha, do you see now our new purpose? We'll determine what happens at the end of this fight. And other boxes can go faster. Ouch. Poor Susie. Took 25 damage, that's painful. Alright, just a little more. Soon, this world shall be blanketed in darkness, and darkness shall rule it. Alright, just dodge the spades. This is easy sauce. King's Cape flutters weakly. Yeah, he's about to be defeated, that's why. No story for you, baby. Nice. We got a crit and a regular. Then you may see what it is to live in despair. Alright, here we go again. Eat 
Easy, see? Alright, next attack should beat him. So, goodbye, king. I... I see. You are much stronger than I envisioned. Lightners, I... Perhaps I... I have been too cruel. The truth is, I was not always this way. There once was a time where darkners and lightners lived in harmony. A time where darkners could fulfill their purpose in peace. It would be a lie to say that I, too, do not yearn for those days. Perhaps, perhaps you young ones are right. Please, let us put away our weapons. There must be a peaceful solution to all this. Come on, come now, Susie. Took a little convincing, but she agrees to play along. I'm glad you're starting to realize, Mr. King. None of us really want to fight. If you can just tell us about your worries. I'm sure we can all be friends, Mr. King. Y yes friends. That sounds lovely. Sweet, he's turning a new leaf, but... My apologies. I am... I am not used to fighting like that. My body is getting weak. Is he dying? Oh, don't say another word. Don't worry, Ralsei will heal him. Sweet, now we can talk this out. There, you should all be healed up. How do you feel? Uh, let's see. Never better. You! Did I say you could get up? Chris? Ouch. Oh, spare me the heroics. You. You're the leader, aren't you? So, what's your plan? To laugh as you cast us all back into obscurity? You can't even say? By the way, remember the start of the game, young one? Let me tell you a secret. Quiet people piss me off. And Susie saves our hide. Hey, get away from my friend. <laughs> or what? You'll kill me? Nah. So what's your plan then? To talk me to death? You stupid, stupid lightner. You honestly think you have any way to convince me not to kill you? Nah. But they might. The Lancer? Everyone? What is the meaning of this? Sorry, Dad. You're being overthrown. When I told everyone you were fighting the Lightners, everyone remembered how kind they were. They decided they'd rather have a king that accepts them. Me. Now I'm the dad. You idiots. The Lightners are your enemies. Fools, I'll kill you. I'll kill all of you. Yikes. I think someone needs a timeout. Go to your room, dad. No. <laughs> Y'all right, Chris? Chris! Susie! Oh, you're alright! Yeah, it'll take more than that to take us down. Chris, Susie, I'm... I'm sorry. Because I healed the king, we almost... We almost... Susie, you were right. I... I was foolish to think we could act so soft to everyone. This isn't a world where kindness always wins, is it? <laughs> Eh, it's complicated. Yeah, sometimes there's people you just gotta fight. But if you never let your guard down, then... You might just hurt someone you care about. Aw, Susie. You're beginning to sound like a real hero. Eh, don't get used to it. 
Then I... I suppose you and Chris should return home now. Yeah, I... I guess that's right, huh? Well, uh... See ya. I guess that's it. Let's go home and end our journey. Hey, Chris. Wait a second. Um, I... Look... I know you want to give a real goodbye to everyone, right? I mean, I'm all for leaving right away, but... You know, we could go back a sec if you wanted. Ah, uh, sure, why not? Well, then what are we waiting for? Let's head back! Alright, let's go. Now we get a Undertale-style ending here. Chris? Susie? You came back? Um, well... Chris just wanted to say bye, you know? Oh, actually, everyone here wanted to say goodbye, too. Please let me know when you leave, alright? Yeah, yeah, we'll try not to skip you. Don't worry about talking to everyone. They'll just be happy about what you've done and they can return to their normal lives. I want to save time because this is a Let's Play, but they're all very grateful for what you've done. The other person you have to talk to, though, is Lancer. Susie, blue person whose name I neglected to learn all along. I thought you were going home ways. We were, but Chris wanted to say bye, you know? Oh, really? Oh, ho, ho, that's funny. I thought you wanted to say bye because we are friends. Huh? I mean, I did not want to. Um, so you're the king now, huh? Yes, and I'm changing some big rules. First, lightners are now legal. Second, prison is now only for dads. Sounds like some pretty good changes. Hey, your dad was, uh, protecting the fountain, right? Is it gonna be okay if we mess with it? I have no idea. But it's you guys, so I trust you. If something bad happens, we'll fix it out. Yeah, guess we'll just see, I guess. Um, well, see you later. Come back soon. There's always room in town for a couple of clowns. And my internet just died. Yeah, PC's pooping out. The USB slots. So when they go, I basically have to get a new PC at, this, at that point. Anyways, you don't actually talk to me. You have to try to leave. Susie, Chris, are you going to leave? Um, I... I just wanted to say I... I... I really enjoyed meeting you two, and... Hey, can you stop mumbling into your hat for a sec? can barely hear you, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. And with that, we get a reveal. Um, Chris, Susie, I... I hope I can see you again soon. Next time, I'll make you lots of yummy cakes, alright? Um, yeah, sure, dude. <laughs> Someone was turned on. Let's go, Chris. With that, we can now leave for real. Or Steam could just be down for maintenance, who knows. And so just enjoy the end of the game. Is this... the fountain? To know how, don't know how, but... It feels like we stumbled into... Something really important, didn't we? Well, there's no time to think about it that now. Right now. It's time to go home. Right, Chris? Yep. As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if... Your very soul was glowing. <laughs> what happened? I can't see anything. 
Hey, watch it. Uh huh? The unused classroom? How'd we get here? I don't know. Hey, Chris? What? What just happened? Like, that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? Nope. Anyway, as I was saying, let's just tell Aphis we couldn't find any chalk. Man, the sun's already setting. Everyone else must have gone home by now. Guess Alphys will know better than to ask us next time, huh? Well, guess we should go. See you later, I guess. Chris? Let's go back there tomorrow, alright? Now you can go to the right and look at Toriel's classroom if you want. Why not? It's a computer. Its desktop wallpaper is you and your brother dressed up for Halloween eight years ago. Some kind of primitive sculpture. Who knows what it represents? Now, there's a whole bunch of fun things you can do around the town, but... Hmm? C Chris? Whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting you for after school for half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. You had your poor mother worried sick. Chris, I am afraid I am going to have to punish you. Huh? A friend? You were spending time with a friend? Chris, I will make an exception this time. You can continue your adventures a little longer. But when you return home, you are going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. Now you can do what she says and get some fun dialogue and get some heart a heartwarming moment or two. Oh, I do want to show this off. You look through the window to the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working at a computer. Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. Ah, I couldn't be who we think it is. And if you head south, we can get a... You can go find the whole gastro thing. I'm pretty sure everyone knows about that. But I'll leave this all to you guys if you want to play the game yourselves. Get the fun stuff. Enjoy yourself. Give you reason to play it. Instead of just saying, I saw the LP and I have no reason to play the game myself. So let's just go home. Welcome home, honey. Did you have fun with your friend today? By the way, I just finished baking a pie. If you go to bed, it will cool when you wake. But do not eat it all this time, alright? Fine. Also, you can talk to Sans in town. So, now that our adventure is complete, if you go to bed, this chapter of your adventures will end. Will you go to bed? Yes, we will. You decided to go to bed. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and this ends Let's Play Deltarune. What do I think of it? Well, first of all... Oh wait, what's going on? Oh, noes. I don't think Chris is too happy with us controlling him. If you look, we can move our soul still. What's he doing? Oh, dear. He's got a knife. That's not good.
And with that, that ends this Let's Play of... I hope you guys really enjoyed this, and that was a hell of a twist. I never saw that coming when I started playing this. So what do I think? The music in this is great. It's all, it's really good. I think it's a worthy game to follow up Undertale. So can I recommend it to you guys? Yes, I could. It's a free game. Get it on his site. Just type in Deltarune in the search engine somewhere, and you'll find it instantly. Hey guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and this concludes chapter one. I'll see you guys in the next chapter whenever it releases. But for now, I'll see you next Let's Play. Dash you later. Don't forget, I'm with you in the dark.